Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this cardigan for babies from 0 to 12 months. So there's four sizes in between. This is the smallest size, 0 to 3 months. It can be made for a boy or a girl. Uh, and I will show you examples uh, just in a second. Okay, so first, uh, it is very easy to make. It is super quick because the stitch is very, very simple. It's very easy to follow. Um, I will tell you about the yoke uh, quite clearly. Uh, this is probably the most difficult part. It's just uh, uh, increasing at this point. But I will show you the whole thing. Little sleeves, little collar, roll back right here, and just simple at the bottom. So, like I said, this is uh, size 0 to 3 months. Now, the next one is uh, slightly bigger. This is a size... Um, three to six months. It looks really, really nice in uh, spotted yarn. It is lovely. It kind of takes away a little bit from the stitch. You can't see it as clearly as on the um, one color, but it is really, really cute. Super cute. And I actually have a matching hat for this one. So very cute. Uh, okay, so this is for a girl uh, three to six months. Very, very similar, a little bit bigger. Now the next one is six to nine months, so this is for a boy. Again, I just chose, a, instead of white color, I just chose a, a different color uh, for the endings and the color. This is for a boy. And this is the same size. Now this is the one that I have make, uh, made in this video, so I'm filming this after I, I have the rest done. So these two are the exact same sizes uh, for a boy and for a girl, just like that. And then the very last one that I have is the biggest size. So this is a size um, 9 to 12 months. I have made it in three colors. Uh, it's just like an example, just in case you want something uh, a bit more fun. Um, just simple change three colors okay so here it is um, like I said this is a very easy stitch it's a single crochet chain four single crochet and you make it all in lines very easy to follow and like I have like I said very very quick to make it usually takes me about um, two hours perhaps a little bit more for the bigger sizes uh, but I'm a quick uh, crochet and know exactly what I'm doing so I just fly through them uh, so here we are. If you got interested, let's go in and have a look of what we're going to need for this project. Okay, so to make this cardigan, we're going to need uh, scissors, uh, stitch markers, at least four. Let's grab a few of them. A needle to hide the tails. Oopsies. Uh, a measuring tape in centimeters because my chart is in centimeters so it's easier to measure because we will be making it um, using measurements. A four millimeter hook. Uh, four buttons, you can have more or less, completely depends on what, your, um, what you want. I have four simple white buttons and yarn. Okay, so you want um, some color to do the color and the ending for the sleeve. So I have white for this one. 50 grams. Uh, you don't need that much. You are going to need probably 20, 30 grams. No more than that. So this would be way too much. Just have enough. And then for the main color. Okay. So <clears throat> all the sizes up to 9 to 12 months. So 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9 months. 100 grams was enough and I actually had some leftover. Uh, let's see for example the one that I've showed you for um, three to six months I had enough to make a hat. Uh, so this should really be enough. Now uh, I, the one that I have made in this tutorial so you will see it later. Um, I have that much left from the 200, uh, excuse me, from the 100 grams. Okay so I have a little bit left. I don't think this would be enough for the next size ups, the size 9 to 12 months. But if you're working cleverly, so you, you let's say you don't want to buy an uh, extra skin or something. So what you can do, instead of just having the color and the endings white, you can do this part white 
or whatever color you choose so that will save you up some yarn and even the endings of the of the sleeves right here so you see the end is covered you could swap that to a different color and you would save yarn here as well and I'm pretty sure that would be enough if you would just change color here and the ends a little bit earlier okay so whatever you decide I don't think a hundred would be enough for the 9 to 12 months but it it might be it really depends on the yarn now talking about the yarn okay so we are uh, we need to use a lightweight number three yarn or DK weight. It doesn't matter what what brand or what color or whatever. It just we want it to be similar weight. Okay, so any lightweight number three yarn or DK weight yarn is absolutely fine. I have this um, yarn. We love yarn from Hobie. It's 100% acrylic. It's about 150 meters and 50 grams. So uh, in 100 grams, it would be approximately 300 meters. Okay, and it is a 100 grams. So that's all there is about the yarn. Okay, make sure you have enough to go around the collar and um, the sleeves and enough for the main color. And then you can have a few accessories like a few bows or something like that just to make it a little bit more fun okay get yourself ready and we can get started so to start this little cardigan uh, grab your main color yarn have four stitch markers nearby your hook and we are going to get started okay so for sizes three uh, zero to three months three to six months we are going to make 17 loops for sizes 6 to 9 months and 9 to 12, you're going to make 20 loops. I will be making size size uh, 6 to 9 months, so I need to start with 20 loops. Loops are very easy to make. I think this is one of the easiest ways uh, to start. So make a slip knot, put your hook in, and chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. Now we're going to yarn over and make a half double crochet into the bottom chain. So into the very bottom one, in you go, pull, and you have one loop. Again, one, two, and three, yarn over into the bottom chain, so right this one right above the previous loop, so here, and there we go, and a half double crochet. Chain three, and again into the very bottom chain half double crochet, chain three, and half double crochet. And you need to keep going until you have the number of loops that you require. So I need 20, I have one, two, three, four, five, I need 15 more. And so I have 20 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so this one right here, you might have 17. Now get your stitch markers, and we are going to mark our corner loops. Okay, so we're going to look at the little numbers right here, okay? So these number ones are where we are the loops that we need to mark, okay? So first of all, we are going to skip two loops and mark loop number three. It's the same on this one. Okay, so I'm going to skip two loops and mark loop number three. So I'm just going going right under the chain three, in between the half double crochet and chain three. Then you're going to look at the number on the side right here. So I'm going to skip three loops and mark loop number four. If you're doing smaller, skip two loops and mark loop number three after the stitch marker. So for me it's one, two, three, and mark number four, like this. Next, we are at the back right here, so skip six, mark number seven, or skip five, and mark number six. So I need to skip six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to mark this one. Just going to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six in between the two stitch markers. Then it's the other shoulder right here. So again, I'm going to skip three or two, three, 
two, whichever one you have. So I'm going to skip three, one, two, three, mark the next one. And after you put in the last stitch marker, you should have two loops left. So just like this. Okay. Now we're going to start repeat row number one. So uh, I tried to draw a little diagram of what our corners are going to look like and the corners are going to be where the stitch markers are. Uh, it's a bit difficult to draw so hopefully you can understand it well when I'm going to show you that, okay? So um, both are crocheted exactly the same. The only thing is that you have uh, fewer loops in between the stitch markers than here. Everything else is exactly the same. Okay, so to start all of our rows are going to start with chaining two. So chain two, one and two, and turn. Okay, so we want to start onto the side where the chain three is, okay? It is a bit more um, bendy, okay? So where the half double crochet is a bit more straight, we want to go under the chain three to start. So, go under the chain three, right in the middle, single crochet and chain four one two three and four and now single crochet back into that same space okay like this then you're gonna go into the next loop single crochet chain four one two three and four and single crochet back into that same loop so the next one is with the stitch marker. So this is a corner. This is where we need to do increases. And repeat row number one. It's like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you now. So take out your stitch marker. And into that loop, you are going to make a single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet back into that same space. Again, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and one more single crochet. So where we usually do uh, one loop, we have two right here with a single crochet in between them. So you can see it's a little um, close together. Now gra grab your stitch marker and mark that single crochet in between the two loops. So right in there, right in between. So we know where our corner is, okay, right in between them, that single crochet. Then continue with the loops as usual, so single crochet with all the normal loops that are in between the stitch markers are the same, okay, so single crochet, chain four, and single crochet back into that. And the next, single, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet. Next one, single crochet, one, two, three, and four. Single crochet back. Again, I have my stitch marker, and in this row, they will all be the same as right here. So this is, remember, this is repeat row number one. Take out the stitch marker, single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet back in there, again chain four, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet one more time in there. Mark the single crochet in, right in between those two stitches, or the two loops. And then continue on, so everything without the stitch markers, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, and then the corners where the stitch markers are exactly as I have just shown. So here and here and I will see you at the end. I'm finishing the last loop. Okay, so single crochet. And the very last stitch is a half double crochet right at the end right here. So where your tail is, it should be a chain. Go in that and half double crochet. Okay, 
So repeat row number two is quite similar to this, okay? So anything in, be in between the stitch markers is just your usual loops. We just need to stop where this stitch marker is, okay? So each row starts with a chain two, so chain two and turn and into the next loop, single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet. Right into the next one, single crochet, one, two, three, and four, single crochet. Now here we are, okay, so we have a full loop right here. So single, chain four, and single crochet back into that, okay? So we have a normal loop right now. So now where the stitch marker is, what we want to do is we want to chain one right above the stitch marker, take that out and put the stitch marker right under that chain one that you have just made. We need to split these two loops, okay? So they, they had a single crochet right in between them, but we need to completely split that in the corner. So we have a chain one in between them. So after that, right into the next loop, single crochet and chain four. So try to remember these corners because you, you will have to repeat them probably maybe three times until we reach our yoke. So this is repeat row, row number two. And continue on until you get to your next stitch marker. I would like to show you the corner one more time. I'll be quick. Single and single. And again, here we are. So right before the stitch marker, it's a normal loop. Right above the stitch marker, we chain one and put the stitch marker into that chain one or under under it, right under that, right in between these two loops. And then go as normal. So just like that, continue on. Remember to do the same in the next two stitch markers. Anything in between is just normal loops and I will see you at the end right here. Okay, so I'm finishing uh, repeat row number two. So into that loop, I'm um, single crochet. And now you have a chain two from the previous row right here. So you make a half double crochet on top of that chain two. Okay, into the very top one right there. It might be hard to see, but it's right at the edge. So half double crochet. So every row starts with chain two and finishes with a half double crochet. Okay, so repeat row number three. The last one out of the repeat rows. You chain two and turn and start as normal. The only difference is what we are going to do where the stitch marker is. Okay, so single crochet. Okay, so now our stitch marker is in the chain one space right here. We're gonna take that out and we're gonna make a whole new loop right in there. Okay, so single crochet into under that chain one single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet back into that chain one. And mark that loop. Then continue as normal. And keep going, I will see you at the next stitch marker. Okay, so stitch marker and the chain one space. Let's take that out and into that chain one space, single crochet, chain four, and single crochet. Mark that 
loop that is our corner loop at the moment and then continue as normal so continue the same to the end of the row again remember everything is between is normal loops you have your stitch markers in the chain one space you make a whole new loop in there and mark that loop okay so here and here and I'll see you at the end and the end of the repeat row number three is very simple again once you finish your last loop you're gonna yarn over and there's a chain two right here so chain one and chain two into that top chain half double crochet okay and these are our three repeat rows now I'm not gonna show a whole lot more I will just quickly go through the uh, corner stitches because you need to start repeating them I will just remind you really really quickly uh, you will only see me uh, do these parts from uh, now on one more time okay so the corner in the repeat row number one okay is single crochet where the stitch marker is chain four one two three and four single crochet let me take that out uh, chain four one two three and four and single crochet mark the single crochet in between those two keep going do the same in all the stitch markers so repeat row number two we have our stitch marker in the single crochet in between two loops so finish the loops as normal we bring them into work and right where the stitch marker is we chain one and move the stitch marker to that chain one and then continue into the next loop so just like that the corner in the repeat row number three is we have a chain one space where our stitch marker is and in this chain one space we single crochet chain four and single crochet back into the chain one space and mark that new loop that we have in between and then continue on so what we need to do now is continue making these three repeat rows over and over again until we get very close to our yoke measurement sorry okay so this is in centimeters remember so 11 centimeters for the two smaller sizes and 12 centimeters for the two bigger sizes now we want to be a little bit short to that okay so maybe about one centimeter short it's not a big deal if you actually reach it okay so about 10 or more centimeters for the two smaller ones uh, or 11 or more for the two bigger sizes now that is the yoke right here so from the corner stitch what we have started to the stitch marker you grab your measuring tape and where your stitch marker is you go on a diagonal like this and measure so I'm at approximately 8 centimeters right now in length I need to get much closer to 11 or a little bit more okay eventually we will reach this measurement again it's not a big deal if you actually uh, reach this or go over it not a big deal okay it's just, just something that we need to keep an eye on so we don't um, make it absolutely huge okay so I'm at 8 and I need to be a bit more closer to 11 or a little bit more so I'm thinking maybe another two rows maybe three and we will be able to do the back uh, lifting the back up okay so keep going until you get this and I will see you then and we will continue together okay so at this point I have finished my yoke so it looks like this okay we will measure it in a second I'm just gonna quickly tell you what we're gonna do next so next we're going to add two rows at the back just here so our front will 
be like this, lower than the back. That way the color will look nicer. Okay, so to measure. Again, like I said, uh, measure on a diagonal to the stitch marker, any of the corners, it doesn't really matter. And it can be a little bit shorter or at the point of uh, this measurement, okay? So 11, 11 or 12 centimeters. So for me, it would be 12. If I measure to the stitch marker, it is just over 11 centimeters, appro approximately 11 and a half. Absolutely perfect. Don't worry about this. Uh, it will change nothing. Okay, uh, so the next thing is, like I said, we are going to add two rows at the back right here okay in between these two stitch markers now it's going to be a little bit uh, different uh, because if you finished your last row just remember which uh, repeat row you finished on if you finished your last row on repeat rows one or two you will be doing this as I'm gonna show you on this um, gray uh, Piece, okay it's gonna be just slightly slightly different if you finish it on repeat row number three where you have a full loop right here I'm gonna show you on the pink one how to add the two rows like I said it's very very slightly different now what we need to do is uh, you either need to cut your yarn right here okay because uh, we need to connect at the corner or you can uh, do it like me. So I usually take my yarn from the middle of the skein. Uh, so for this, so I don't have to cut my yarn. I'm just going to take it from this point. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, I just don't want to cut it. But if you don't have a choice, just cut here and connect. And then you can reconnect at the front again. Okay, so uh, first of all, I am going to show you how to do the two rows if you finished on repeat row number three so if you have a full loop okay so place your yoke uh, that your tail or where you have finished is under your left hand and we're gonna connect into this corner so grab your yarn make a slip knot and connect like this then you're going to chain three one two and three and you're gonna turn now you want to make a half double crochet back into that same loop and then continue as usual in your normal loops in between just like that all the way until you get to the other uh, stitch marker okay so at the end right here again on the other side you're going to finish with a half double crochet chain one and half double crochet like this then again you're gonna chain three one two and three you're gonna turn and make a half double crochet in between the two half double crochets from the previous row like this and then continue again as usual single crochet one two three four single crochet and keep going until you get to the end right here okay and at the end right here where we have finished or started you're gonna make a half double crochet into the middle chain one and a half double crochet into the second chain like this into the very very side then you're gonna chain one and cut your yarn leave a little tail and done now I will uh, quickly show you how to do it on uh, the other one uh, the thing is so the next step would be to measure 
right here to see how how much we have to add um, underneath the armholes now the thing is so this stitch uh, seems to shrink a little once you leave it alone uh, so if you have if you can just leave it aside on a smooth surface for a couple of minutes okay then we will uh, be able to see like really how much here uh, the distance is right here okay so I'm just gonna leave it without pulling on it to the side and now I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing on the other one okay so the same make sure that you have your tail under your left hand and in between the two stitch markers at the back you're going to make a slip knot and connect. So you want to connect right where the stitch marker is. So it's either going to be, excuse me, <clears throat> in a single crochet right here, or it's going to be in a chain one. It doesn't really matter. It's uh, the same for both. Okay, so I have a single crochet. I'm just going to go in right there with the hook into that single crochet. And I am going to chain two, one and two, okay? And then you turn and you start making your loops right into the next one. So this one right behind the chain two, okay? And single crochet, one, two, three, four, single crochet. And so on until you get to your next stitch marker. So once you do all your loops, you're going to make a half double crochet where your stitch marker is. Again, it's a single crochet for me, just a half double crochet. Chain two and turn. And again, start right into the next loop. Single crochet, one, two, three, four, single crochet. Do this until you finish this row. And you want to finish with a half double crochet into the chain two from the previous row in the top of that. Right in top. Half double crochet, chain one, and I'm gonna cut my yarn like that. So the next step is to connect. Again, I'm gonna put this aside. This is just an example piece. I'm gonna uh, pull this apart, but I just need it for one more thing. So I'm just gonna quickly put it away. Okay, so the next thing is to measure how much we need to add underneath our armholes okay so it's very likely uh, that we will need six stitches but we might need nine I will show you both ways uh, whichever you need okay so the next thing is the chest okay so this is the measurement right here so we want at least let's say zero to three months 23 centimeters to be from here to here or more okay so 23 24 25 or 26 I'm making six to nine months so I want it to be at least 25 centimeters or more I'm gonna measure from the stitch right here on the straight line to the stitch right here so I'm at 25 and a half centimeters it's a little bit over it's absolutely fine so I'm just going to add six stitches underneath the armhole so we're gonna have two single crochets chain two and two single crochets now you can use this uh, six stitches if you are on point with your measurement right here or if you are approximately one centimeter short okay if you need to add another centimeter six stitches will be enough underneath now if you need more if you are missing more than one centimeter to get to that uh, chest measurement then you're gonna have to add nine stitches it will be three single crochets three chains and three single crochets again I will show you uh, that on the other cardigan so just measure if you are on point right here or if you are like a not no more than centimeter short six stitches is fine if you are short more than one centimeter then you need to do nine stitches okay so next part is so as usual get yourself to the stitch marker 
Okay, so my stitch, mar stitch marker here is a chain four. You could have it in chain one or uh, in the single crochet. It doesn't matter, it's the same. Exactly where your stitch marker is, so this is six stitches, okay? I'm gonna put in two single crochets, one and two. Then I'm going to chain two, one, two. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip all this. This is going to be the sleeve. And exactly where you finish at the back, so I have a stitch right here, the half double crochet. I'm going to put in two more single crochets. So one and two. Okay, so you see you have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And then continue as normal with your loops until you get to the end right here okay so once you finish your last um, loop before the end right here at the back so you want to find that second chain it doesn't matter how you finish you will have two or three chains I have three right here but I'm just gonna make two single crochets into the second chain so two single crochets I'm gonna chain two skip all this and exactly where your next stitch marker is two single crochets and finish off this row as usual so just finish that quickly so finish again uh, all rows start and finish exactly the same and come back and I will show you what to do with these stitches right here so here I am, these are my six stitches underneath the armhole and this is what we need to do. So we need to continue this pattern right here. So you want to find the stitch, this one right here, so you want to skip one and into that second uh, single crochet or the stitch right before the, cha the two chains. We're going to make a loop, so single crochet, one, two, three, four, and single crochet crochet then you want to skip those two chains underneath and into this stitch right here so the one right under where we have connected make another loop and now we have continued our pattern underneath the armhole and then keep going as normal until you get to the other side of your back so see you right here and it is the same on the other side so you want to make a loop into that second single crochet you want to skip those two chains and then into the into this single crochet another loop And just finish the row as usual the rest is very easy to finish the bottom of the cardigan we will just follow our loops right here there's no more corners no more increasing we just need to make up uh, more length uh, which I will talk in about uh, a minute I just want to show you how to connect if you actually need nine stitches if you need more than six so I'm gonna put this away uh, again uh, get yourself to the first stitch marker okay so now if you oh I have one more loop right here finish all the loops before the stitch marker okay so if you need nine stitches exactly where your stitch marker is you put three single crochets there I have it in a single crochet so one two and three then I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm going to put three more single crochets at the very first stitch at the back right here. So it was a half double crochet. So three single crochets. One, two, and three. So there's our nine stitches. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, and three. This just increases the chest measurement uh, more, so it's going to be wider. 
then continue as normal with your loops until you get right here okay so on the other side I have the chain 2 right here into the top of that chain 2 I'm gonna put three single crochets one two and three then I'm going to chain three one two and three skip all this into the next stitch marker where whatever wherever it is we put three single crochets in there one two and three and then continue as usual in your loops so finish this row start the next one and I will see you where these nine stitches start okay so here we are we have our three single crochets three chains and three single crochets so we need to make a loop in the second single crochet so this is one and two right here into the second one single crochet one two three four and single crochet back into that same stitch now the next loop is going to be in the middle of those three chains so one two and three into the second one right here one two three and four and single crochet back and then another loop into the middle of these three single crochets on the other side so one two and three into the middle one into the second one single one two three and oops four single crochet back and then continue as normal so you have three extra loops underneath your armhole because you had more stitches than six so you had nine stitches you get three extra loops if you had six stitches you get two extra loops underneath and then continue as normal and on the other side as well into the middle single crochet a loop into the middle chain a loop and again into the middle single crochet on the other side a loop and then continue and after that it will be uh, the same for everyone we will just be using the loops that we have to finish the length as you can see if you put it straight down we have the back part of our cardigan higher up than the front this is exactly what we wanted okay so like I have mentioned we just need to <coughs> get the cardigan to the length that we need so this is what I do for cardigan length you look at the chest measurement that you are doing it for okay so for me it's 25 centimeters 23 24 25 or 26 for my size it's 25 centimeters this way and then the length I do the same I do just from the very front panel from the top of the front I will be crocheting down 25 centimeters so I need about uh, about 11 centimeters to go okay so it's this way and from the front not from the back from the front it's the same length as a chest measurement it just gives it a nice shape so keep going until you reach the measurement that you need right here okay so the chest and the length from the front are approximately the same you can always make it shorter or longer if you like this is a, an approximate measurement but I really like the proportion that it gives once you use the same measurement like this okay so keep going I will see you after we finish the length and so I have the length finished like I said take the chest measurement and measure from the front down and it is approximately 25 centimeters right here it will add a little bit more once we have the <clears throat> Um, bottom part done straight just a tiny little bit okay so wherever you have finished you are going to chain two one and two and 
turn. Now, we will be making single crochets into the chain four and one half double crochet in between them. It doesn't matter which stitch, I usually use uh, this stitch, this single crochet for a half double crochet. But we want um, to lose a few stitches, so what we're going to do, we're going to put one single crochet, one half double crochet, two single crochets, half double crochet one single crochet, half double crochet. So it just the difference is in single crochets, okay? So you want one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. So chained two, I'm gonna put one single crochet in the first one, and then a half double crochet, like I said, in between, I usually choose this. And then two single crochets in the next chain four, one and two, and a half double crochet in between the two loops. Then one single crochet, half double crochet in between, then two single crochets, half double crochet in between, and then one, and just like that, all the way to the other side. So one single, two single, one single, two, one, two, one, two, all the way to the end. Okay, so finishing the bottom, uh, I ended up doing two single crochets in the last loop. It doesn't really matter how many you have there. It's just that we need to finish with a half double crochet into the chain two at the edge, like this. Now we are going to go in and do the side straight away. So if you want to, f uh, to change color, you can just chain one and uh, get the other co uh, color yarn. Um, attached. I'm just going to do it in uh, pink. Give me one second. have uh, a few stitch markers ready uh, just to mark out where your button holes are going to be. And now we're just quickly going to, I'm going to have four buttons by the way. Um, we are quickly going to talk about the side where your sh buttons should be, or the buttonholes, excuse me. Okay, so this is going to be your good side. Wherever you finish now at the bottom, it should be under your left hand, okay? It's slightly different. You can see on the inside it has um, little bumps here, so I want to keep that on the inside of the cardigan, okay? So I'm going to start with this side first, and this is the side that is going to have the buttonholes because this is for a girl and usually for girls it's on the left side so under your left hand is a buttonhole and usually for boys is on the right side. It really uh, is easy to make. Uh, I will show you how to make them uh, on this side and you can just do it when you're doing the other side if it's for a boy. No problem at all. Okay so now we are going to have four rows of single crochets plus buttonholes in, on this side for me. Now you want to start with chaining one and start making your single crochets. Try not to make them too close to each other and not too far uh, from each other. Okay, so I'm going to go right into that half double crochet right underneath. So, and then I think here. So just try and see that it's uh, nice and straight so it's not stretching and not pulling each other. So I'm um, usually doing about three single crochets in the side of two rows, okay? So this is row one and two. So I would have three single crochets. It's a little difficult to see. Just try your best. So this would be here, here, and here. And just keep going all the way up. Just once in a while, just lay it down so it's nice and straight, not too many, not too little of those single crochets. Okay, so we could keep going. I will see you at the top. Okay, so I just have one more single crochet. Just try to finish uh, at the top. Okay, so the next row is very simple. So we have made one row. Second row is you chain one and turn and put your first single crochet right into the first stitch. So chain one doesn't count as a stitch 
and start your single crochets one single crochet into each stitch and in this row I'm gonna count how many single crochets I have so I have one two three four five and I will keep going uh, until I get to the bottom and so I have 33 uh, single crochets for the front I'm just gonna write that down so I remember for the other side and now I'm gonna do the buttonholes in the third row so I'm gonna grab my stitch markers and I'm gonna start marking from the top I'm gonna mark one two third stitch from the top you can actually uh, mark the second if you want the buttonhole to be higher but I'm gonna do uh, two chains above so it's gonna be like a medium size um, uh, buttonhole and then you kind of want to place them as far from each other as you like so I'm gonna have like probably about eight stitches in between one two three four five six seven eight mark here one two three four five six seven eight so right here one two three four five six seven eight and one at the bottom and you can move them around to make them to put them wherever you want so chain one once you have all your stitch markers in you're gonna get yourself to your stitch marker and now I'm going to chain two I'm gonna skip that stitch where the stitch marker is and start single crocheting right after that now it's um, a good idea to try out if the buttonhole is big enough for your buttons. Now I'm not decided on these buttons, but I'll probably have to use them. I don't have any nice pink ones. This is perfect. I don't like when the button uh, holes are too big and um, they start to open because of that. But <clears throat> if you need the buttonhole to be bigger, then you can chain two and skip two stitches and then start single crochet and that way the buttonhole will be bigger just just in case your buttons are bigger than mine okay but I just need to skip one and remember how many stitches you skip there under the chain two and then just continue on till your next stitch marker and again the same I'm gonna chain two I'm gonna skip that one and start again stitch marker chain two I'm gonna skip that one And my last one, chain two, skip one, and I have one and two to finish, just like that. And the last row is we're going to chain one and turn. <coughs> I will single crochet everywhere. So one, two. Then when you get to your chains right here, uh, as many stitches you have skipped underneath, that's how many single crochets you make. Uh, under the chains okay so I skipped one stitch although I have two chains but I skipped only one stitch I'm gonna go under this, those chains and just make one single crochet and then continue with one single crochet into every stitch now if, if you have skipped two stitches <clears throat> you need to put two single crochets uh, there okay so again I'm gonna just make one single crochet because I just skipped one stitch and continue on all the way down now to finish a very last stitch uh, so this is right here I usually instead of single crochets I just make one slip stitch that way the very corner looks nice so I'm just gonna make a slip stitch instead of single crochet but you can do single crochet if you prefer and I'm gonna chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn and this is done now I just need 
four rows of single crochets on the other side of my cardigan and I need to match the same number of stitches so it's not that one side is longer than the other or shorter whichever way you look at it so I'm going to start the other side on the top rather than on the bottom so just you can see I have my tail here I'm gonna go in here uh, leave the tail for that side I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna start single crochets so one two three four five six and I will keep going and I'm gonna make sure that I have 33 on this side okay so I'm finishing uh, this up I have 30 stitches I need three more I'm just gonna try to make out so this so I have to make three stitches to finish so 31 32 and 33 now the rest is very easy uh, it's the same as we did here apart from the buttonholes because I don't have it on this side if you do have it on the third row so this is one two you would be going down from the top on the third row again you mark out where you want your buttonholes to be and do the same as here and then just finish with the row number four on the top so I will leave you to this four rows of single crochets and I'm gonna see you when we finish right up here okay so the next step is we are going to de to do the collar around the neck so what you want to do is on the side on the right under your right hand you want to find that very first row out of the four rows where you have started the side right here okay so just before uh, the stitches start right here okay so right here I'm gonna go in I'm gonna connect the color that I want my color to be I'm gonna chain one and turn now we're going to go from the inside of the cardigan and we're gonna make single crochets now I'm gonna make a single crochet right in the same place and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the uh, half double crochet here where we have started so you kind of go into that hole or into the half double crochet right here and one in between then again one there and one in between so this is the half double crochet so I'm gonna go right into it make a single crochet then I'm gonna go right in between those two loops so I can see a half double crochet right here with a hole I'm gonna go in between and single crochet there then the half double crochet single crochet there and then in between and then again there's a half double crochet and then in between now stitch count doesn't matter right here we just want to go around with single crochets again look there's a hole I'm gonna go right into that and single crochet and then so you see this is the next one I'm gonna go in between and then here so it, it might look like the neckline is tightening up and that is absolutely so we don't want that color to be um, too wide so make your single crochets all the way around I'll see you right here so I'm fish finishing up and you can see I want my last one again to be so right at the edge right here so just so the gap in between where the color starts and finishes is quite small so I'm just gonna go make one more single crochet right here okay and as you can see the neckline has really shrunk okay so the next uh, three or four rows uh, however many you decide are very very uh, simple we're gonna do 
double crochets. Uh, we're going to increase at the very, very front uh, or the beginning of each row and at the very back. Okay, so start with chaining three, one, two, and three, and turn. Now make a double crochet back into that same stitch. So chain three and that double crochet is an increase. The rest are just one double crochet into each stitch until you get to your very last stitch. So one double crochet around. So keep going. I'll see you right here. Okay, so my last stitch and I am going to do an increase right here. So two double crochets. One double crochet and second double crochet back into that same stitch. So remember, we increase only at the very beginning of each row and at the very, very uh, last stitch of each row. So again, we're going to chain three to start the next row. One, two, and three, and turn. We make a double crochet back into that very first stitch. And this is an increase. Then keep going with one double crochet into each stitch until you have one stitch left. Okay, so at this point, this is my last stitch and it is the chain three from the previous row and right into the top chain, I'm gonna make two double crochets. One and two, again, an increase. So you keep uh, making uh, rows like this until you're happy with the length. I will have four rows of double crochets. Uh, you can have five or you can have three, it completely depends on you what you prefer. Don't forget to increase in the very beginning and an increase in the very end. Okay, so keep going. I will see you uh, when I have my four rows finished. Okay, so here I am uh, finished with four rows. You can check if that's enough by putting your cardigan like this and then just roll back the collar like this. If you are happy with it, you can just uh, chain one and cut off your yarn or if you would like to add something, more rows or maybe a uh, little waves around here, uh, you can do that. Okay, so I'm happy with this, so I am going to chain one and cut off my yarn. Like this. Now, the next step for our cardigan would be to do the sleeves, but I personally prefer to sew in my buttons before I do that, so the cardigan is not flapping all the way around uh, when I'm doing the sleeves. So this is what I'm going to do, and I will show you, <clears throat> excuse me, how I sew in one of my um, buttons. So when I have a thread uh, in my needle, what I do is I put a little knot at the very end, so both strands, you see, both threads are connected, okay? So it's like one big loop, okay? So it... It's right there. It's all connected. Then I start with the top button first. So I'm going to do the tails later. I just want the buttons in right now. I place like this perfectly in the top. Now I have a button here. What I, And what I do is I put my needle through the buttonhole like this. Then I take this off and I know exactly where my button should be. So right here at this point. Go in from the bottom. I'm not going to pull through. I make sure that I have the knot right here. Go into through the button. The other way in. Then back into the cardigan like this and now I'm gonna pull slowly and I want to make sure that I don't lose that little knot at the end 
now in in between the two threads I go so you can see the knot is holding so my needle is right in between those two knots uh, two threads ex excuse me and it's holding on to the knot at the end and I'm gonna pull tight and then I will just go through the button a couple of times and one more time that way it's uh, the button holds on very well with a start like this okay that's enough um, now I'm gonna go right it's on the inside like this and I'm gonna pull until I have a small loop left a little loop right here I'm gonna go into the loop with my needle once I'm gonna go into the loop for the second time and now I'm gonna pull tight and we have a nice secure knot I'm just gonna I don't uh, like to cut very close to the knot so it doesn't um, unravel so I'm just gonna hide a little bit like this and now I can cut off my yarn or thread it is very secure like this okay so I'm gonna sew in my other uh, button so what I usually do is I sew in my top button then I match the bottom sew in my bottom button and then the two in between just so that the edges at the bottom and at the top are perfect okay see you when I have my buttons sewn in okay so here we are now next step is we are going to start the sleeves first of all uh, grab two stitch markers or four actually we can do it on both sleeves at the same time now you can see the loops that we are going to use for the sleeve but then at the back right here we have the two extra rows that we did and there's no loops right here so we need to mark two places where we're going to make loops so I have a loop right here and I'm gonna do one right here so you want to have two loops okay so you want to skip a little bit of space okay so loop here one here and then I'm gonna do another one right at the bottom right here somewhere right here where the chain start so like this now you want to mark exactly the same on the other side so one this chains here so I'm gonna do one right here somewhere and one higher up here somewhere like this two okay now it doesn't matter if you had two or three chains underneath right here the sleeves are exactly the same grab your yarn make a slip knot find those chains it really doesn't matter where uh, you connect to just any of those chains into the middle like this connect chain two and we're gonna start our loops okay I'm gonna go right into that next loop and single crochet one two three four and single crochet back now at this point look how big of a hole it's leaving for me right here okay so instead of leaving that uh, now it won't be the same for everybody because you might have slightly different here just in case you have a big hole what you can do is you can actually put a half double crochet right here right there just a half double crochet to just to hide that hole okay we're gonna skip over that half double crochet in the next row uh, it's just to cover it up a little bit okay so then into the next loop one two three four single crochet into the next loop one two three four now that is very clear you still uh, remember the stitch so keep going now one more thing that you want to do at this point is you want to mark that first row so you can see this is the first row that I'm making I'm just gonna put a stitch marker right under it okay 
So it's technically this row that I'm marking, but when I will be counting rows, I will be counting the holes up above it. So it will be one, two, three, and so on. It's just, it's very, very hard to find where you started um, after you have a few rounds, okay? So just mark that. So keep going, I'll see you at those stitch markers at the back. Okay, so I'm right here where the stitch marker is. I'm gonna take that out, and I'm just gonna do a loop there. So single crochet, one, two, three, four, and <clears throat> single crochet. And then where the next stitch marker is, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, and single crochet. And we are going to join in under the chain two. So this is the chain two. It's going to go right under it and slip stitch. Now make sure that you are happy where those loops are. If you are not, you can move them around um, just to make it nicer. Okay? Then to start the next row, you're going to chain two and turn. <clears throat> we still need to turn uh, every row. And then just into the loop, single crochet, one, two, three, four, single crochet, single crochet, one, two, three, four, single crochet. And this is all that we are going to do for the whole sleeve, almost the whole sleeve. You need to leave some space uh, for the ending. So keep going. I'm going to see you at the last loop right here. Okay, so I have just made the last loop. And remember that half double crochet that I have made, uh, so I don't have a hole. I'm just going to skip completely over it. I'm going to find that chain two where I have started. And I'm going to go right under it. You can go in it or under it, whatever suits you better. And slip stitch. Chain two, turn, and start the next row with single crochet, chain four, single crochet. So it's very easy. Once you have the sleeve established, you just need to get the length, and you can see right here. So I don't have that hole anymore, and you really can't make out that there was a half double crochet, and then I have skipped it. It just looks like normal pattern. So chain two, do your loops, connect, chain two, next row, keep turning. Okay, so we need to do this for a little while. So let's have a quick look at the sleeve length. So sleeve length is right here, 15, 16, 17 and a half, and 18 and a half centimeters. Now I will be making a uh, 17 and a half centimeters. Now I measure from the, from right here, okay, from the armhole. So I am at just two and a half centimeters at the moment, and I need to keep going until I'm approximately one or two centimeters short from the full length, okay? So then I will add the white bit at the end that will um, roll back and it will add the missing length plus it will look nice, okay? So keep going until you are two, maybe one centimeters short from the full length of the sleeve. Okay, so at this point, my sleeve is approximately 15 and a half, 16 centimeters in length. Like I said, I just want it to be a little bit uh, shorter than the full length, which should be 17 and a half for me. So it is absolutely perfect. Now I'm gonna quickly count how many rows I've done so I know for the other sleeve. So you can see it's my stitch marker here and I'm gonna uh, count all the holes above it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 rows. And now the next step is to, um, we're going to even out the edge right here. So I'm going to chain two, one and two, <coughs> excuse me. Now we're going to do the same thing as we have done at the bottom right here. So you turn whichever way you are going, it doesn't really matter. And now we're going to make one single crochet into the loop half double crochet in between, then two single crochets in the loop, half double crochet in between, one, half double, two, 
half double and so on we just want to make it nice and even so I start with one single crochet and then half double crochet in between then two single crochets in the loop one two half double crochet in between then one single crochet half double crochet two single crochets and so on all the way around and I have finished with one single crochet uh, it might be two don't worry then I'm gonna now join into the chain two this time okay so I need the stitch to start the next few rows I'm gonna go right into the chain two into the second chain and slip stitch chain one and I'm gonna cut my yarn I'm gonna change colors right now okay now the next uh, three four or whatever number of rows that you want to make uh, are very similar to the neck right here we're just gonna have four uh, excuse me just double crochets I'm gonna do four rows you can do more or less depends on what you want and we're gonna make them in a circle so start with a slip knot I'm gonna join into right here under my knot I'm gonna chain two and start one double crochet into each stitch all the way around and just like that very very simple keep going I'll see you right here okay so crochet all the way around it would be a good idea to count all your stitches including the chain two just so you keep the same count until you finished okay so once you have your done your last double crochet you're gonna slip stitch into the chain two you're gonna chain two and turn and starting right from the next stitch so you can see there's a double crochet and a little bit to the left is the stitch from that double crochet and just double crochet around again so I'm going to make four rows like I have mentioned you can make as many rows as you want so do that and I will see you when I finish the end of my sleeve so I'm finishing my last row I will slip stitch, chain one, and I'm going to cut my yarn. And now I'm going to do this. You can make it shorter or longer if you need. And this is how my sleeve looks like. You can see. It's approximately the same length as the bottom of the cardigan okay so uh, the next thing to do is do another uh, sleeve it's exactly the same do your two extra loops and keep turning make sure that you have the same number of loops on each uh, sleeve and you have the same amount of rows okay so do the second sleeve and I will see you after okay so at this point I'm just about to finish uh, I just have one tail left I have um, sewn in all the other tails I just wanted to show you how I do this one so I try to go in into the stitch back in there so you see this side is kind of curled up and this one is really sharp so I'm gonna go into that stitch like this and I'm gonna pull until it's rounded up so it doesn't look like a sharp corner so it's very alike to the other one and then I'm just gonna go in between the stitches one way and then back and all uh, and that's all so I've hidden all the tails again like I have just went in between the stitches and um, did that now the thing with the collar right is so it kind of sticks up so 
you can leave it as it is or you can stitch it down like this to the cardigan so it actually stays down now for me I am going to sew these on so while I'm sewing the the little bows I will just catch a little bit of that cardigan underneath and that will uh, keep it down okay so whatever you do is completely up to you let me finish uh, with the little bows and then we'll see what I ended up with okay and here we are this is my finished cardigan it's really quite cute the bows are really matching looks lovely well thank you very much for watching and um i will see you in the next one bye